Hello Scotland fans and welcome to Dreaming of Scotland. My name is Sean, I am your host here on this channel. This channel is all about showing you the best of Scotland and some of the places where I live and where I visit in the hope that you'll come and visit as well, I'll give you some inspiration. Today's video is all about the Royal Mall in Edinburgh and I'm really excited to show you up and down this street, this famous street in Edinburgh, Edinburgh's main street, principal street, historic centre. Lots of things have happened here over the years and it's a great place to come and visit. And if you come to Edinburgh, there is absolutely no doubt you will go and visit the Royal Mill. So I thought, why not give you a preview? I'm going to walk today in this raw and quite unedited, uncut type of video, giving you a bit of a walking tour. And I'm going to put my sunglasses on because it is very sunny and it is the middle of summer here in Edinburgh, so very warm. Probably unusually so. I'm going to give you a good tour of Edinburgh's Royal Mile. So, hopefully you're ready to go. I am. Right here behind me is the Scottish Parliament, which is right at the very bottom of the Royal Mile. Over the other side of the road there is Holyrood Palace. Can't see much of it from here, but I will go closer. So, are you ready? Hopefully you have subscribed to this channel. Check out the links down below for newsletters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and let's go for a walk. A walking tour of Edinburgh, the Royal Mile. Some people don't like the, the Parliament building, but I think it's brilliant. A really stark design compared to the rest of the old town, which is where we are. We'll not see many more things that look like this as we walk up the Royal Mile, that's for sure. That's across the road as we start the tour, right at the bottom of the Royal Mile. And I'll show you why in a second. So hi, right down here behind me, that is Holyrood Palace where the royal family stays when they are here in Edinburgh every summer. They're actually just getting ready for their annual garden party. Obviously the Queen would have come every single year and now it is King Charles. Uh, and that is really the beginning of the Royal Mail. It starts here at Holyrood Palace and then it's all uphill from here, there behind me, all the way up to Edinburgh Castle. I'm not sure if that's why they call it the Royal Mail because it starts and finishes at the palace and then at the castle, but you know, probably something like that. Anyway, we're going to make a start and head on up the Royal Mile. But before we make a start on our journey up the Royal Mile here, right here behind me, one quick question. Have you subscribed to this channel? Have you hit the thumbs up button? Have you subscribed and put the notification bell on? I hope so. Now you've done that, I'm very pleased. Thank you very much. Let's get on a walk. could always just end up on one of these tourist buses which goes around the city. They're actually pretty good. They give you a lot of history and background to some of the things you see as you pass by. A lot more information and historical accuracy than I can give you. That is for sure, but nonetheless, we're going. We're going for a walk. We're going to sweat a little bit. It's all good. If you like pork sandwiches, first tip is we just start making our way up the bottom of the hill here. There's a place over there called Oink. It's very good. Pool pork sandwiches with also other, other options like haggis. One thing you'll notice as we're walking up today, there's quite a lot of these flags all the way up the Royal Mile hanging off the side of the buildings. Now, I'm not sure 100% if this is the reason, but they put these flags out whenever the Royal Family's in town, which they are right now. Like I said, they're about to host the summer garden party in Holyrood Palace, and all the flags are out. The heraldic flags or something, I don't know. Just going to take a wee crossover because there's something I want to show you already. And we're just at the start of the Royal Mile. Top tip if you like coffee, avoid Starbucks and go to this place, Santu Coffee. It makes really good stuff, it makes really, really good coffee, and it is Brazilian as well. Brazilians know what they're talking about with coffee. Check it out. But anyway, just a few steps away from Santu Coffee. You need to see this place. Check out. Thank you. 
this wee spot here behind me is the Bakehouse Close. I'm bringing it here because, well, it is very historic and very old, and it's kind of how the closes would have looked like back in the days. By the way, a close is all the little narrow streets that come off the Royal Mile on at each side, and you can spend like a whole day just exploring them on, on their own because they're so interesting. Um, the Royal Mile is just through that tunnel there. That's the road that we're walking up and down. That way. Uh, that way. Uh, whatever way. We're walking up the hill. Um, but we've just come through that tunnel and I've come to make out who's close because it is... It looks kind of like how the closest would have looked before. But also, for Outlander fans, this spot here is a bit of a pilgrimage spot because this is where Jamie's print shop was. Right up those steps there behind me. So many Outlander fans come here all the time, constantly, pretty much, to take photos. And it's also where the print shop burnt down as well. Really classic scenes from Outlander. So there really is something for everyone in this tour. History, beautiful sites, architecture, Scottish accents, and Outlander. All right, Bakehouse Close. Outlander fans, come and visit it. Everyone else, come and visit it too, because it's cool. Look at this tunnel. We're gonna head out now, back onto the Royal Mile. Start walking up. And before I move on, across the, across the other side of the street, there's an old classic pub called the Tollbooth Tavern, which is also worth checking out if you're in Edinburgh. Yeah. I'm going to be taking a lot of photos as we go because it's just too scenic, why not? Very famous pub there across the street, that is the world's end. It's the world's end because that was the end of the city at one point. And there used to be a mark on the floor for where the city walls were. But across. Right down here, look. almost halfway up the Royal Mile now, I just wanted to stop here for a wee second because that house there, the white one behind me, that there is John Knox's house. A lot of people will be interested in that, a lot of people come here to Scotland kind of knowing roughly about John Knox and his story and stuff and will definitely want to check out. I think you can go inside like as a bit of a museum now but a bit of um, history right here on the Royal Mile and we're almost halfway up, almost. It's getting busier and busier the more we go up that way though. As we cross the road in front of me, where the big Troncourt church is, we've reached the halfway. I don't know if that's an official thing, but it is halfway. Another thing down here in Nidra Street, behind me, some really good pubs. Check out the Banshee Labyrinth. Now reached the pedestrian part of the Royal Mill, halfway up to the castle. People playing music over there, there's people walking everywhere. This is where it gets really busy and hectic, especially during the festival time. This is where the kind of centre of the action is. Let's head up. street performances, especially during the festival time. It's right up here behind me. We are getting a really good summer in Scotland this year. It is absolutely magic. I'm roasting. 
Now we're at St Giles Cathedral, we're really making progress up this hill now. This is a beautiful old cathedral that's been here for, I don't know, a donkey's years, but it's worth checking out. And significant in recent times, because that is the place where the Queen's body lay in state for I think it was two days or maybe 24 hours anyway. She lay in state here before being transported down south to London after she died. Um, and like thousands of people queued the streets here for days and days to try and get a glimpse. That's obviously recent history, there's been history that's happened here <laughs> throughout the ages since Edinburgh was a city really. Lots of stuff have happened here and in the square some quite grisly stuff. I'm going to write a post actually, a blog post with lots of information all about Edinburgh about the Royal Mile there'll be a link down below to find it you can check it out dreaminginofscotland.net check the link you'll get all the information about this stuff and it'll be a useful handy guide for you as you plan your trip to Edinburgh because you're going to want to know about all this stuff before you come right? I'm not a tour guide and I don't really want to be a tour guide but I do like showing off Edinburgh and so that's what I try and do in these videos and I can articulate some of the historical facts better in words, I think. So check out the blog post. Top of the Royal Mile now, the castle is just up there behind me. Not sure we're gonna get in because they're doing stuff for the festival, but um, anyway, <clears throat> you're probably gonna end up at this part of the Royal Mile at some point in your trip. Over there is the Scottish whiskey experience. Highly recommend checking that out if you're into whiskey at all, or even if you're not, that's worth a trip. That's a really popular tourist attraction there, the Camera Obscura. I've never been in, it's not really my thing, but people like it, so I wanna check that out. But yeah, lots of people up here, it's very busy. If we turn the corner there, you're going to see the entrance to the castle, which has like the stadium thing on it now. And here's a military vehicle. I was unaware that we had declared war with anyone, but you never know. So that was the Royal Mile. Unfortunately, I wanted to finish it at the castle up there behind me, which we'll get to see it in a wee second. But they are doing construction in preparation for the festival and the military tattoo, which means we can't get right up into the castle courtyard at the moment. Only people have got tickets to see the castle. So that's a bit sad because that would have been the end of the Royal Mile, really. But we went up most of it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this wee, wee walk with me. I'll be doing more on this channel, so make sure you check them out. Hopefully, it'll have inspired you to come and visit and learn more about Edinburgh like I said there'll be a link down below with more information all about this city and some of the streets that we are walking down so go and check them out and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care